welcome back to my channel i finally got the merit brow products i ordered in the mail when i saw this launch of course i immediately bought it i immediately added to cart and i checked out because you guys see me use my merit brow gel all the time on this channel but now they have a brow pencil like this was the product that was missing from the line i love that they expanded the range of the brow gel and we have a nice range of the brow pencils i'm assuming that in the future they are going to incorporate uh, some additional colors is that usually is how it goes uh, i feel that we need a clear they need to bring back the clear version of the brow gel as well for those people who want like a clear color but i digress i'm very excited about these two products and i'm going to show you how they work in this video we're going to start off with some foundation and i'm feeling a little pale today so i'm going to use my foundation in the color linen if you want to know uh what my summer shade is i use a crew as my summer shade by the way i prep my face with my merit skin glow serum i know i never show you but i do always tell you what i prep my face with anyways i'll be using my merit number one brush to blend this out you guys i i am over over the moon about these two products i'm so excited that they're giving us more product for the same price in the brow gel in case you guys didn't know if you didn't catch the shorts uh, i did or the posts on my instagram so i'm gonna compare the original brow gel to this new one thank god i still have one vessel <laughs> that's in the original uh format because i use this brow gel all the time and i really like it so what they did was they expanded the shade range and they gave us a bigger tube of products but for the same price and so the way that they did that was that they made the wand a little bit shorter and i'll show you that and then of course the brow pencil we've all been asking for <laughs> you guys know like every time i do a video i use my westman atelier brow pencil because Merit didn't have a brow pencil not that the westman atelier one is bad it's actually really good i use the shade bark for those of you who are wondering in the westman atelier one but i'm really excited to show you guys this new product and i will be comparing it to the westman one so you guys can choose your preference as well because they have quite different shapes let's get started next up i'm gonna go in with my contour stick in biscuit this is from miss gucci westman just blending that in with the blender brush from westman atelier by the way these brushes are amazing so if you haven't picked these up i highly recommend it i've had mine for about a year now a little over a year they're so good um i picked up the travel set the same quality it's just a very well made brushes next i'm going to go in with my merit uh bronzer stick this i have in the color clay and you know what i didn't even give you any swatches I forget that I get a lot of new people on here and they want to see swatches of like foundation and the products I use. I'm the worst. So here we have the swatches of the foundation and the bronzer. And just for reference, in case you wanted to see Biscuit compared to 
the bronzer, it is a very cool tone, which is why I use it as a contour, which is what it's for. It's, it's a contour stick. <laughs> Nothing has been more appropriately named. Okay, so I use a clay to warm up my face a little bit. And although this looks glowy, uh, this actually dries down to a very natural finish. Not like the mirror blushes that stay um, tacky. It actually dries down to a very beautiful natural finish so like your hair won't stick to it or anything like that. It's a lovely product and it blends out like a dream and I think they have a nice uh, shade range in this because of its formula, I find that it lends itself to a lot of different uh, skin tones per shade, which is, you know, the Amer aesthetic anyway. And I'm just using a real techniques to blend that out. I'm gonna get my hair out of my face because I don't, you know, I'm not that YouTuber who can, who can do that. Just like do their makeup when their hair is down. It's just, it's not me. I'm gonna go in with my Merit Blush in Stockholm just because we're gonna we're gonna go with the theme of my shirt today. It is a very light uh, Barbie pink. And I'm gonna swatch this right here. I'm almost out of this. And like if I don't pan this this month, I'm gonna be very surprised. And honestly, these blushes are mistake proof you really can't uh mess them up they're that good i use them on my lips as well so there's also that you know what we'll use it on the lips right now so you guys can see very easy to apply they do remain very creamy i'm gonna use my bk beauty uh 109 brush to just blend that out you guys, if you haven't joined the Merit Loyalty Program, please do so because this mirror is included as a part of the loyalty program. So you're able to obtain this mirror depending on what level you are. And it have levels one through three. And depending on how much you spend in a year and a calendar year is, you know, you get access to different like limited edition merch like their hat this mirror and i think they may be adding a sweatshirt shirt uh to the program soon if they haven't already by the way can we just talk about this 109 brush i can't i just i can't tell you how good the bk beauty brushes are because i own plenty of them i don't own the whole line but i do own several of these brushes i own the entire angie hot and flashy collection the travel and the regular size brushes and bk beauty was nice enough to send me three different brushes uh, i got the 109 the 101 and another one of the kitten paws from angie hot and flashy they're so good they're so good they're so durable and soft and they blend everything magically. It's amazing. For highlight, I'm going to be using my Westman Atelier Lit Up Stick in the shade Lit. And we are just going to tap that out with our finger. Another product that I use on my lips as well. And I'm going to swatch this for you guys at the end here. This is the most beautiful opal full opalescent shade nothing quite like it exists i'm sorry i don't know why my camera is not focusing it's having a really tough time today but i feel that the westman atelier lit up sticks is what we all want the chanel highlighting sticks to be anybody else anybody else yes we want there to be color we still want it to look ethereal and we want it to catch the light in just the right angle westman atelier did themselves maybe maybe chanel should take some notes on this okay next up 
let's put on some eyeshadow i'm gonna go in with a little bit of social which is this beautiful mauvey purple situation i'm gonna swatch this over here for you guys this is my favorite uh shade out of all of their single shadows And I would work one eye at a time for those of you who are not familiar with this um, particular product because once this sets, it does not budge. This will last you until you wash your face. However, you don't have to use makeup remover to remove it. So it's still easy to take off. Because we all, we all want a cream blush. We don't... You know, I mean, a, a cream eyeshadow that's not going to budge, but we also don't want to have to use pounds of makeup remover to get it off at the end of the day. And so I think Mary did a very good job of formulating this uh, particular product. Now I am going to use one shade that is limited edition it came out for the holidays and i'm hoping they either add it this year to the eyeshadow line which is glossé or they bring it back for the holidays so this is just a little inspiration for those of you who did pick it up please go ahead and use it use what you have and i'm just gonna pop this on to the center over social i'm gonna move a little bit closer so you guys can see isn't that lovely i'm gonna zoom you guys in and just ever so lightly i just tap that on this although is shimmery and much more moussey and wet in consistency than the other shadows it sets down just the same once it sets it's not gonna budge so that's why i work one eye at a time it's just it's stunning and it it's also buildable so i use it i use it alone or as a topper shade a very versatile color but it is a cool toned champagne uh shade so it is gonna cool down whatever eyeshadow you put this over and let's swatch it for you guys just want to show you the consistency of that on the finger and then i'm gonna swatch it up here there is glossé it's very cool toned it will not show up peachy on the skin at all so just keep that in mind i do i love the shade and that if they if it comes back for the holidays just add to cart just add to cart okay let's get on to these brow products shall we oh no i forgot let's put on some eyeliner i'm putting on my westman atelier eyeliner in brown just gonna do tight line the outer corner of the eye, just like that. In case you were wondering, the Western Atelier eyeliner is awesome. All right, let's move on to brows. So here we have the beautiful Merit Brow Pencil. I love that they chose this silver shade because it makes it super easy to find in your makeup bag because most of their products are gold and so i think they put a lot of thought into this color i think it's it's super 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 slim super slim this for reference this is a standard eyeliner pencil that would be like the same girth as a lip liner look at this look at how thin this pencil is it is very very thin it's a very very thin vessel on one side you have a spoolie and on the other side you have the pencil which is a very fine tip pencil for you to be able to achieve whatever brow look you're going for so I chose light brown 
I usually go a shade down when it comes to brow products. I never go true to shade just because I prefer a lighter brow versus a darker brow. My it's something about the complexion of my face doesn't do well with any kind of dark brow situation. It's, it's it's very strange. I don't know if anybody else struggles with that, but here you have a swatch of light brown and you can see you can do very thin strokes. And so what I would recommend is use a light hand when using these kind of pencils because they're so they're so thin that if you apply too much pressure they can just break off and don't take out too much so from the bullet just take out as little as possible and then you just fill in your brows where you need it and i'm gonna get closer so that you guys can see but you see i've filled in that area just a little bit and right in here here so i have fairly full brows but i do like to use a brow pencil not all the time but i would say quite often when i need to bring a little bit of life back into my brows sometimes they can look a little dull uh, and they need to be a little bit prominent so that's when I will go in with a little brow pencil. The spoolie is a very sturdy and it does a very good job at combing through my very thick uh, brow hairs, which not all spoolies can do. So I'm very happy about that. And now let's go in with some brow gel. And then we'll compare this to other brow pencils. Okay, this is the brow gel in light brown as well. And to compare it to the original vessel, you can see that in the original vessel, the original vessel is taller. And this whole thing is the wand and this i'm going to turn it sideways so that's going to be a little bit better and this bottom piece is where the product is right the new one you get all of this full of product and then here's your wand so let's go ahead and apply this to the eye and by the way the diameter of the vessels are both the same from the original to the new one so just applying a little bit of that to the brow now This new formula is less creamy and it definitely has more hold, but we'll see when it dries if it gives me that, that crunchy brow that I hate, so I hope it doesn't do that. All right, so here is that brow gel. And while that sets, I want to compare it to the West, the brow pencil to the Westman Atelier one. So the Westman Atelier um, brow pencil is much, much larger compared to the Merit one. It is taller, slightly taller. And as far as a product, you get 0.2 grams in the Merit one and you get 0.1 and you get 0.34 grams in the Westman. In reference to ounces, you get 0 0.07 ounces in the Merit and you get 0 0.01 ounces in the Westman. 
Now the pencils are completely, completely different. And here we have the pencils. The Westman Atelier one is much, much larger. It is slanted versus the Merit one is very thin. And I find that the Westman is drier in consistency, but the strokes are larger. So you're not, it's harder to achieve a feather-like consistency if that's the kind of brow you're going for. And this is bark in Westman Atelier, by the way. You can see that those strokes are much thicker versus the Merit ones are much thinner. So it really just, comes down to the kind of brow that you prefer and that you like if you want if you prefer to work with a thinner kind of pencil then the merit one would be a better choice if you like this more this a thicker pencil slanted more of a drier waxy consistency then the western atelier one i think will be best because the merit one is cream it's still waxy but it's it's creamier uh so so it just depends on what you're looking for as far as spoolies are concerned here we have the merit and the westman spoolie compared and the merit spoolie is a thick is much bigger and thicker in consistency versus the merit one is a thinner is thinner and longer both work great uh first impressions on this i just used it it's very sturdy both are very sturdy uh but as somebody who has uh very thick brows sometimes spoolies don't work as well as i want them to because they don't quite get all of my hair uh, I find that the bristles on this, although it's a much thinner spoolie, they are very firm and it's very sturdy. So it really does comb my brow the way I need it to be done. Uh, the Westman Atelier one, a great uh, product uh, overall. And the spoolie is very good too because again, those bristles are very long but very sturdy. I find that a lot of the times with spoolies that have longer bristles, they're softer. So for somebody who has a longer, thicker brow hair, that kind of brush doesn't work as well. But the Westman is very good too. As far as lips are concerned, I wanted to give you guys a couple of options. So obviously here I have Stockholm on my lips. Lip, I have brought two different uh lip products so you guys can get a little bit of inspiration or maybe you have these and i want to inspire you again to use what you have first up i want to try the merit uh lip oil in taupe i love this color and this is for those of you who want a very natural lip you're not a lipstick girl and I find that these lip oils provide you with just the right amount of pigmentation so here is taupe and then I brought one of my new favorite shades ginger and I'm gonna actually why don't I swatch them here is ginger and here is taupe. I find that taupe is like the oil slick version of ginger. Anybody else? I feel like if you're gonna pair two lip products, these would be it. So again, here is taupe in the lip oil. Here is ginger. It's quite literally the same color. Now let's apply some mascara so we can complete this look. I'm going to use my Westman Atelier I Want You Mascara in the color brown. The weather here has been terrible. It has been raining really bad. We have got nothing but heavy rains and downpours, storms. 
which has made it a big challenge to film any kind of makeup content for you guys because you guys know I rely on that natural light because I want you guys to see what these colors and products look like and make it look as realistic as possible as if you were in the store with me. So here we have that final look. How do we like my brows? I can't tell you how over the moon I am about these products. I do have an affiliate link for Merit. So if you guys want to use that affiliate link, it's in the description box below. The brow pencil and the brow gel come in a set. So you get a discount if you purchase the bundle or you can just pick up the pencil on its own. All orders $40 and above are free shipping. And because they just launched, you know, the reformulation of their brow gel and the brow pencil, there are limited edition sets that some are permanent and some will go after a couple of weeks. So if you guys are interested in purchasing just this bundle, I would do so now. Don't forget to use my affiliate link in the description box below. I would greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. All first orders for Merit will automatically get their signature makeup bag, which is this corduroy situation that I use all the time. I use this bag all the time, all the time for my makeup. I just, I love that I can just toss things in here and, and run out the door. Okay, that's my favorite thing, but you can also use it like as a little handbag if you want to too. Uh, this is automatically applied to your cart if it's the first time you've placed a merit order. Again, don't forget to sign up for that loyalties uh, program because I know a lot of you wanted this mirror from Merit and it comes and goes randomly where it's part of like a free gift with purchase. Usually it's like $75 or more when they have brought this back but I haven't seen it in a while. And since they recently launched their loyalty program, depending on what tier you are, you actually get this as a gift, depending on how many points you have. You heard it here first. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below, any questions that you have about this product. I will do my best to answer your questions and i just want to let you know that merit did not send me these products for free i bought this with my own money i bought this bundle the moment the moment it launched i woke up at 12 a.m just so that i can purchase this during early access so i'm committed i'm committed so there's that thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow me on Instagram, I upload a lot of swatches and comparison stuff on there as well. And that is the only other platform I'm currently active on. We will see at what point I get TikTok. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you next time. Bye.